So I got a request recently to, I'm going shopping today. I'm going to go out and buy um, stuff for my streams and, you know, mostly art supplies, but I also have to go to Target and run some errands. And I got this request that I will do a shopping haul. So like a shopping video and then a haul at the end. So I, I just, I've always thought of doing something like that. I just didn't think anybody really wanted to watch. So hopefully this is somewhat entertaining and <laughs> you guys enjoy. Thanks for coming. So before I get started, I want to let myself mostly know what I really need and what I don't really need. Um, so I made a list, but I am just going to try and do this from memory right now. Um, so at Target, I need to go to the pharmacy. That's like the number one priority. I was thinking about getting some bottled water, possibly, maybe, if I think, I, I don't really need it. I have a Brita filter, but, you know, sometimes it's nice to have to take to work. Um, what else? I At Target, I wanted to look for the mini brands books edition. I see those all over TikTok, or at least a little bit on TikTok by one creator, I'm pretty sure. It's very, I hear they're very, very hard to find right now, but they are a Target exclusive. I, I looked on Amazon. I couldn't find them at all. Like they just didn't exist. So I think they're a Target exclusive and I'm going to do my best to find them. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I do, because they are adorable and I would love to have some of those. But of course, that's not like a necessity. <sighs> Sigh. And then um, at Michael's, I am going to buy, um, I'm looking for paint, certain colors. I'm looking for a deep red, because I mentioned that on stream on Wednesday that I my reds are really very bright. You can mix it with black, but I would like to have a, like a deeper, richer red. I would also like a, have a, like a yellowish, orangish type of yellow, like a deeper, richer yellow than what I currently have. And a blue, I would like to have a, like a lighter blue. Um, but I don't want it to be too like thin in terms of like because there's a there's a color right liquitex called brilliant blue it's, it is brilliant but it, it's too light it's like really thin I don't know I I, I really want to know like the chemistry of color someday somebody's gonna turn me on to that type of factoid but anyway I want that I'm looking for like watercolor pencils um kind of I, I wanted some better quality colored pencils to do on stream with Mixed Media Monday, but um, if I don't, I mean, it doesn't have to be too great quality, just better than what I'm currently using. Um, so, and watercolor pencils I thought would be kind of fun to do. Just, uh, it would be fun to watch. So that is my plan, what I need. Um, I'm, I'm sure I will end up with more than that, but that's the plan. <laughs> and let's see what happens. All right, we're going to Target first. There's a Michael's, at this Target, there's a Michael's like within walking distance from it. So that's the plan. These, but I don't think that Crayola licensed with them this time. I, I could be wrong about that, but that's the only reason I got the toy ones before. Can't find the books, sadly. Decently at Target, I got a small tripod like I wanted. Um, I didn't deviate from my list too much. I did get go to the pharmacy. That was the main thing. I got one of these. Um, I can't remember. I didn't think that Crayola licensed with them for series three, but I, I don't remember. So I wanted to get one so I can get the, what is it called? The thing, the list of all, how many you could get, stuff like that. So that's why I got that. And I got, this is my favorite brand of protein shake and that is my favorite flavor. I did not expect them to have it. I've only ever found it on tar on um, Amazon. So that was very exciting. And that was the only one they had. So I had to get that. We are going to Michael's now. <laughs> oh, I do want to say that the main reason I didn't impulse buy this time on this Saturday, which is also a holiday weekend, is because of people standing in the aisle with their ginormous target carts are huge. And everybody knows that. And they just stand there and they put their cart right in front of them like at an angle so nobody can get by nobody can go look i hate that so much I, I was under so much stress just trying to dodge people that like that shop like that but that's the main reason i didn't spend as much money as i could have <laughs> let's see if michael's is like that michael's carts are like the opposite of target's carts like the exact opposite they're just way too short Aw, these are so cute. I love them. I'm not gonna put up a tree, so I do not actually need them, but look how cute. 
These are really fun too, but nobody can see them what we have there. Not if you think that Michael's cart is the best size. <laughs> and no wood slice ornaments came in different types of wood. We have base wood, we have birch wood, pine wood. I think that's what I have at home. This is very interesting. These candles that are just like all candles. So then of course when you light it and it melts, it's going to be a very deformed looking Santa. I did that one year and it was awesome. They also have a nutcracker, a snowman, gingerbread man, but I like to deform Santa. Thinking about it, I'm considering it. I do use a lot of paper palettes. I've never seen this brand before, but they're gray instead of white. That'll show up so much better on camera. Bravo. Actually go with these. Um, that's pretty cool though. Maybe that'll get that too. These two. Some watercolor pencils. I also found this pack, which I might get, but I was looking for some soft pastels. I guess I found it, but I don't really know if I want to spend that much for that. Here we go. I've been doing the basics mostly of the Quitex, but for the dark color I want, dark red, I think I have to go and be all expensive about it. We'll see. But that is pretty good. That's kind of what I wanted. Wonder how thick the neons would be, because usually neon paint is very, very thin. But these are like the good Liquitex, so I'm not, I'm curious, but I'm not that curious. I'll think about it for a little while longer. This yellow is close to what I wanted. This one, or you're not that one. <laughs> this one probably. Let me see if there's another one. That's a green gold. I think I want this yellow. Sweet. So this one's not too bad for a deep red. I might actually put the other one back. That one is also okay. I don't know. Um, and I was gonna go for a brighter blue, yes, that's the one. Like a brilliant blue or light blue permanent. I think I'm gonna go for light blue permanent. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put the other one back, the other red. And this is kind of what I wanted for a yellow. Here's this one, does that say? Kind of, you know, deep hue, yeah, I wanted it to be the deeper ones. Um, yellow oxide is also a good one, but so we have to remember these are the basics. I also really need black. And oh look, they have a Payne's Gray. I might get a Payne's Gray. I don't really go for Michael's brand, but this is like light years cheaper than they use. And for Mixed Media Monday, I think that'll do the trick for me. <laughs> All this to me is kind of a waste of money. I don't like to spend money on good quality brushes because they always, you can clean them if you know how to clean them really well. But why would you spend $20 on one brush when you can get a whole pack? I don't know, maybe I'm just not that serious of an artist like I thought I was. <laughs> I am interested in these and I appreciate what they're doing and all, but why not sell these in packs, Liquitex? If you really care about the environment, less packaging, duh. These are really adorable, but I, I can't, I know I'll never get around to it, but they are pretty. This is what I was looking for before that I thought I gave away, which I probably did, but I think these would be fun to use on stream for Mixed Media Monday. I wanted just one silk poinsettia for a tutorial I'm gonna do pretty soon. Now these fancy ones. Okay. Bluish. Oh wow. All right. Right, so that's done. Um, my review of Michael's, it wasn't as bad as Target. People did try to stay out of your way, however, in all craft stores, it doesn't matter which one. People are horrible at returning their shopping carts. I returned one that wasn't mine and mine because why would you put it in the, like between the doors? Like nobody can get through, nobody can get in. And I think they do it, honestly. I used to be like, well, they're just done with it. They don't care. But like, it's not even just that. I think they're just like agitated by how much money they spent that they're like, I don't, I'm not gonna return this. I'm just done. <laughs> but um, I, I don't know. I don't but for me, I I got my price down from $100 to $69 with the 25% off coupon and my $10 rewards voucher. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, so I think I'm going to go home now because I'm starving. I, I bought candy. So uh, that usually is a good indicator that I am hungry. So I am going to go home and then I will show you my home. Hi, I'm home. Did you miss me? Or did you nap the whole time? Hmm. All right, now I'm going to show you everything I got at Michael's. It's very exciting. I'm surprised my cat's not here yet. Usually when there's like a crinkling noise, she shows up. 
Yep, there she is. I knew she would hop up here pretty soon. All right, so I did get one of those silk poinsettias I talked about. I got the Crayola oil pastels, so that'll be fun to do on stream. I ended up with um, the snowman candle this year because he just, he, he looked the happiest out of all of them and I just could not wait to melt him down. <laughs> Hopefully he'll still have a positive attitude when I light this candle. Um, so other stuff I got, I got the compressed charcoal. This is Artist Loft, this is Michael's brand. Um, I got the regular vine charcoal, which I have been using already on stream. Of course, still Michael's brand. Um, excuse me, young lady. I got uh, like a smaller watercolor pad. The one I have that I ordered from Instacart that one time is fine, but it's a little bit bigger than what I wanted. So this is a pretty good size. Stop eating the plastic. I got a three pack of a larger brush. Oh my God, she's like, totally just biting into it my goodness does anybody else's cat eat plastic she loves to lick it but i've never seen her like bite into it like this excuse me anyway i was trying to say um i got bigger brushes these are intended for asmr type of videos um these i got a watercolor pencils hopefully hopefully they are good enough that is michael's brand it's fine whatever maya honestly I got this Josie Lewis gray um, palette paper, which I'm very excited about actually. And then I got, um, what is it, the Birchwood. It's just a five pack, so I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see if they were lighter than the ones I currently have, because when you hang things on trees, it's important for them not to be too heavy, because otherwise the whole branch will fall down. So I was just curious. I got the Birchwood ones to see if they were a little lighter. Um, so then I got a lizard and crimson, the hue from Li Liquitex Basic. That's a little bit darker of a red. It's also kind of a purpley. I got a Payne's Gray. I haven't played with Payne's Gray in a long time, so I was excited. Um, this is like a lighter, but also is called Cadmium Red Deep Hue. Um, ouch, excuse you. I am not, this is not your bag. I got Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue from Liquitex Basics. I got a Mars Black from Liquitex Basics. I got um, rectangular canvas panels. These are small, they're like the size of a postcard. I got, and last but not least, I got um, Liquitex Basics Light Blue Permanent. So this is a pretty good haul and I can't wait to start creating something. And yes, yes, I got some of these because you only live once, right Maya? As she sniffs around at everything I bought. Um, I was thinking I would open this before we go. I wanted to see if Crayola was licensed with them this season. I didn't think so, but we shall see. Off the plastic of the ball, Maya loves this. Ouch, that was my hand. Here, go get it. <laughs> Alrighty, what did we get first? This is, oh, it says it's a Hello Kitty thing. Let's see if I can show you, yeah. It's a Hello Kitty little toy thingy. It's really, Sorry, it's not in good, uh, whatever. That's what I got first. Secondly, here's the second one. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is uh, like one of those little poppets and it's in a unicorn shape and it really does work. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that one. All right, so the third one I got. Let us see what we have. Ooh, this is, oh, it says, it says Robo Alive. I've never heard of this, but this is what we got, this toy. I'm looking for the one with the list of toys to get, but we'll see what happens. I found it either. This is, this is Magic the Gathering. That's kind of funny, but yeah, that's cool for the older people who collect. And then last but not least, what did I get here? I got a Play-Doh incredibly happy horse <laughs> he's so happy is that a unicorn i don't think so i think it's just a pony but look at his face he's just so happy all right i want to see this list to see if because i if it's not in, immediately obvious i collect and love crayola as a brand um so i wanted to see if they license with them for this series because if they didn't i'm going to stop by <laughs> it's not that important so i am looking i'm looking i'm looking 
Oh, they have actual like board games like Spirograph and Sorry and Life. That's pretty cool, but it's not. I have enough to collect. Thank you very much. Yeah, Crayola didn't do it. That's what I thought. Um, that's okay. So I am. I don't regret what I bought. It was fun and it was fun to open. And thank you so much for coming with me on this little journey of mine. Um, I'm, I'm being told by my friend that he would have liked to hang out with me. So I, I didn't. I didn't know, and I feel bad. He could have participated in this. But anyway, maybe I will do this another time. Thank you so much. Have a great day.